So, um, hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well, first of all. Um, I, today is a bit of a different day, which I think is the first time I can say that for a long time. Um, so I am all alone in the house by myself, which hasn't happened for, I can't even remember, I'm, I'm thinking since the beginning of all of this, maybe five months ago. So Joe's got back to the office today just to kind of test out the waters and see what public transport's like and, you know, what it is like to be working in central London at the moment. Um, so I think he's going to do that today, maybe not for the rest of the week, but I kind of feel like I've, I've got my old routine back, which is very strange. We've managed to coexist this long and um, get the majority of our work done seamlessly. But it's definitely been something that we had to adapt to. Um, so yeah, today I feel like I have my routine back again, which is so great. And I thought I would take this opportunity to vlog a little bit. Vlogging is really difficult when someone else is around. My style of vlogs tend to be just me pottering about, um, mainly in this flat. So when someone else is here, it, it makes it difficult to do that. It, it doesn't seem like just picking up a camera and vlogging your day would need so much thought behind it. but for some reason for me it does anyway i know you guys enjoy the vlog so i'm going to try and get some of those out for you now um so today is wednesday my mind is so thrown off at the moment i had a long weekend away at the start of the week so i'm i'm, I'm basically thinking it's monday or tuesday today and it is not uh, i don't even think it's wednesday no it is wednesday so um i started off my day with a run which is why my hair is kind of halfway between wet and dry right now and um, I haven't run properly for a long time. I have lost so much fitness, not only just from that short break, but in lockdown in general. And I kind of wanted to touch on something. This is gonna be a bit of a deep and serious start to this vlog, but I wanted to kind of touch on something briefly, which has been on my mind a little bit recently. And it really ties into kind of how I'm, how I'm sort of, thinking about my work as well as how it's affecting my everyday life. Trigger warning, I guess, here at the beginning before I start talking about this. If the um, topics of weight and weight loss, eating disorders and that are triggering for you, then maybe just skip ahead to the end of this segment um, and don't listen to anything I'm about to say. So yes, I guess what has kind of been on my mind recently is um, how we're all feeling about ourselves, and this just isn't applying to me, this is to anybody watching that feels this way, uh, how we're kind of feeling about ourselves and talking about ourselves during this period of lockdown, which really is a lot of inactivity, a lot less movement than I think a lot of us are used to, and obviously the sort of emotional stress going on, because it's a very stressful time to be in for various reasons, but um, I think because of that, I'm sure we're noticing changes and, and differences in our in our bodies. And it's something that hasn't really bothered me a lot, um, other than maybe not being able to fit into the jeans I used to wear every day um, and that being a bit of a pain, but that's why we have loungewear. Um, and not until recently when I started getting a few comments and things on, uh, on my videos and through DMs, and somebody actually sent me a picture um, a week or so ago, I think they pulled it or they screenshotted it from my Instagram. A photo of me from, wow, probably like two years ago, maybe like a year and a half. Um, and they said to me something like, um, you look so much happier here, so much more healthy. And normally I wouldn't give time to this type of comment, no matter how I think sometimes heartfelt these comments are or, you know, people that are saying them feel like they're, they're coming from a good place. They are, at the end of the day, just so unnecessary and I don't think anybody really has the right to comment on anybody's appearance or, or body. It's just, a, it's just not needed. And it kind of got me thinking about that and about my progression over the last couple of years and, and particularly as I had been doing a lot more style content, which is pictures of myself. Um, and I was looking through them and I did notice a difference myself and what you see, I guess, is me a couple of years ago with a much different body shape um, 
And it's kind of interesting to me how, and I'm just sort of generalizing here, but the smaller I am, the more praise I get, the more comments and likes, the more engagement I get on my photos. Um, and in videos, you know, you look amazing, this, this is the best you've ever looked, all sorts of things like that. Um, which, you know, people will say that I'm giving you a compliment, there's nothing wrong with this here. But what is interesting to me is that two years ago, a year and a half ago, when I maybe looked more pleasing to, to certain people's standards, I was the most depressed I'd ever been in my life. I was in an awful place. I wasn't taking care of myself, basically. Um, I wasn't respecting my body and feeding it and nourishing it in the way it needed. Um, I wasn't, I just, I didn't have any interest in really taking care of myself. And unfortunately, sometimes uh, a byproduct of that is that, you know, you, you can significantly drop weight and just everything about your appearance changes. So when I get those comments saying, oh, look at this photo of this time, you look so good here. You can't be very happy right now. Like you don't look good because, you know, your body is fluctuated. Let's put it kindly into what it is now, which, you know, is a harsh thing to read. But what is so ridiculous about that is, you know, right now I feel like I am the happiest I have been for so, so long. I'm in a stable and healthy place in life, in my relationship in general. And then I just was not. So I feel like it really goes to show, I guess this is the point of my little rant here. It really goes to show that you cannot judge someone by the way they look on Instagram. You might think that they look incredible, um, body-wise, you know, they look your ideal of of how somebody should look, and, and it's just really not the case. It doesn't apply to everybody, but I, I think it's important to just remember that people are showing highlights and they're showing the best bits of their life on Instagram, which we all know, and I, I really do try and remind myself of every day. But we also don't know what's going on inside um, and in their minds, so I'm happy right now with the way that I look. I may be a little bit uncomfortable because I'm trying to kind of get to know my body as it is. We have to remember as well that I, I've been very, um, I've been going outside very minimally just purely when I have to, so to do a food shop um, and to walk the dog. And I before was going to spinning classes like three or four times a week and running, walking around London, doing lots of, of activity, um, which has just all dropped dramatically. So I really don't think that we can beat ourselves up too much um, because things have changed and we're gonna change. And it's okay, it is okay. Everything is okay, you are, you are okay. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to say. Um, yes, that was a very deep start to this vlog, but um, I hope that got my point across. So yeah, that's why I'm sitting here with wet hair right now because um, I should probably go and do something with it actually. But the rum is not easy, I have to say. Whenever I take a break, I usually kind of get back into couch to 5K or I just go for like a short, easy, slow run. Um, so I went right back to kind of one of the, the first weeks. And it's still difficult, which just goes to show it's, it's a skill that you have to keep up running. You have to persevere and work hard at it or it will go away. So. I feel good. I feel good for doing that. I'm glad I did that this morning. Um, for the rest of the day, so yes, like I said, I went away this weekend. It was Joe's birthday. It was his 31st and we went away to the sea, which was amazing. I love being by the sea. It's where I grew up and it's just where I feel at home. I kind of feel like landlocked living in London, even though that is not the case. And there are countries and places that I know other people live where the sea is just hundreds and hundreds of miles away and I cannot imagine that. For me, I think it's about 50 miles away, maybe less than that, 30 miles away. Um, but as a little beach baby, that is just, that's a bit too much. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed going away this weekend, but it does mean that I have, still have, some unpacking to do. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna focus on that. I wanna clear out uh, the fridge as well, maybe do a food shop and just kind of focus on some life admin today because I think it's the same for anybody. When you go away, 
everything just kind of falls into disarray. I do like to have a big clean and a big tidy before I leave. So when I come back, everything just feels like fresh and you can get into fresh sheets after a trip away, which is good. I did that, but I think a good organize is on the cards. So um, yeah, that is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. So I've just been updating my bullet journal in here. Um, I actually have been pretty on track with the month of July and um, planned this all out quite a few weeks ago so I have everything in there. I just need to fill it in which I have been doing. I've just made myself a little to-do list for the day um, and I put my run in. I've been trying to track my runs on my main weekly page or my main monthly spread. Um, as you can see there is only one of them so <laughs> that's slightly embarrassing. I updated that and I was having a quick flick through this issue of Vogue which I'm kind of chuffed that I managed to uh, find. Vogue have done, I think it's 12, 10, 12 um, different covers for August. So there's lots of different editions and they're all quite different from what I think you'd expect from a Vogue cover. There is no model for a start. Um, oh look, there's actually 14 it says down here. I used to collect Vogues. I used to get them every single month. I had stacks and stacks of them in my bedroom and had to give them all away when I moved because they were heavy. I kept a couple. I have some like really old ones and the first ever one I bought which I think was like from 2014. So it's quite an old one and some of my favourite covers but I do like to pick up one every so often and especially when there's a cover like this because I mean this is just beautiful. <laughs> looking across the street because somebody's having their roof done and I'm trying to work out whether the man standing with a hammer is actually going to start hammering and um, be too noisy but I don't think he is we'll we'll hold off and see um, so I've just kind of gotten ready this morning I put makeup on which is an achievement and an accomplishment in itself in these times I think we can all agree um, so I kind of need to do something with my hair because uh, I actually let it air dry yesterday um yeah yesterday was when i washed my hair which i don't normally do completely i usually kind of blow dry it towards the end there he goes i usually blow dry it towards the end to kind of just defrizz it and get it a bit smoother i didn't do that so this is this is my natural like not quite wavy not quite curly kinky hair i know everybody is getting their post lockdown haircuts at the moment which must be very a very nice feeling um i haven't actually had my hair cut for over a year now professionally that is I have trimmed it a little bit myself I just don't really know what I want to do with it I've been growing it out for a really long time as you can see this is mostly all my natural color here at the top um sometimes I want to cut it all off and go short and sometimes I want it even longer I don't know what to do I'm a very indecisive person but today anyway I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit so I've been kind of using this hair tool on and off which is, what's the name of this? It's a GHD Glide. It's kind of like a hot brush. So it, in theory, straightens your hair as you brush it. I think it's best to kind of brush it through a little bit first, but um, I kind of quite like this. It's very quick. Turning it on would probably help me in this moment. I don't think it takes very long to heat up. Um, but if you concentrate and are actually a little bit skilled, you can get like a slight bend at the ends of it. I wouldn't say I was the most 
skilled <laughs> when it comes to hair styling. Um, but this is actually quite easy. Yeah, you just get like a little flick at the end. I mainly kind of have some just like admin-y tasks to do. I need to go to the post office and take some parcels, which should be fun. Um, every time I've gone past the post office recently, there has been a huge, huge queue outside, like wrapping around the block. So I think it's probably gonna just take a little bit more time than it normally does, um, which is okay. I actually have some evening plans tonight, which is a first. I haven't been able to say that for quite a while, but um, we are going to a drive through cinema, which should be quite cool. Um, I got Joe a ticket for his birthday, it's as part of his birthday present, and um, I guess I guess now this is just how, how we're doing things. I think it's gonna be quite safe, actually. I think it's gonna be kind of quite cool. You just turn up and uh, sit in your car. It sounds quite retro to me. Um, I think there's gonna be people on roller skates as well, bringing drinks and hot dogs and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited about doing something outdoors um, that isn't just sitting in the park. Um, but you know, we're literally gonna be driving there and driving back and not getting out of the car. So I feel quite comfortable with doing that. And I think that is me done. Much better. It just looks a lot smoother, but still has a little bit of movement at the bottom there. I actually really like this. It's definitely a good one if you have no time at all to do your hair. incredibly sunny outside um, hopefully I can get some outdoor time in today I think we're actually having a heat wave which I have mixed feelings about because if you're outside and enjoying it it's nice but if you're indoors it's kind of excruciating um, I'm also filming right now for some reason in the warmest part of my flat which was a fantastic idea <laughs> so uh, let's try and make this brief but I have just been trying out some bits, some summary bits, which should come in very useful this weekend. Um, I actually picked out some things from Arquette, and I have something from Another Stories here as well. So I thought I would share those with you. I've got a couple of summer dresses, which are very nice, including the one I am wearing right now. So let's start off with this. It's a very kind of shapeless, big silhouette type of dress. It's actually like a midi, slash maxi. I really love this style and this shape for summer because it's just so cool. It's a very, very thin material. So it's really quite breathable. And although it's black, I do quite like wearing black in summer. There's something about black that seems to come up most of the time actually in my wardrobe all year round. But particularly in summer, I really think it's quite chic and quite cool, especially paired with like some gold accents and jewelry. So uh, yeah, this is the first dress. It has kind of like a drop waist, and then these big balloon sleeves with little ties, which I think are very cute. There's also a tie at the back. I don't know if I'll be able to show you that because my hair is in the way. Yes, I really like the actual shape of this, the way it moves, it's very floaty and flowy, and it's got kind of like a scooped neck here, which is quite nice. I also have one of these slides, which are from Marquette too. They are super chunky, very 90s indeed. <laughs> I thought they would maybe be a little bit too big, but I do really like them. I think with the shape of this dress, I don't know, they just work really well and I can see them doing good things with any other like summery type dresses. I feel like they'll just make them a little bit more casual and a bit more masculine, which I like a lot. And they are really comfy. They're like butter, super soft. And then the second dress, which I think is maybe my favorite. 
is again a very um, structured puffy little number, big number. <laughs> um, these sleeves are awesome, they're like huge billion sleeves. It's made of a very, almost like a shirt material cotton. So it's a little bit stiff, but I quite like that. I had another, like a mini dress similar to this from ASOS last year and I wore it so much. It was a really great material for the heat. Um, so this one, the waistline is a little bit higher. It has these very adorable buttons all the way down the middle, which you could wear open. And then it comes down in quite a big skirt. It's not as long as the first black dress, but it's a really nice length actually. And again, I've just put the chunky sandals on with this. I feel like maybe this one would be nice with just Birkenstocks or something a little bit more strappy and light. I actually have my Birkenstocks on here. Let me put them on. Yes, I like that. I feel like they're just a little bit more minimal and not quite so statement. So they just sort of let the dress be. Um, I think maybe like some tan sandals would be even better. Maybe my um, Salon slides with this would be nice. Next is this pretty amazing kind of wear whenever um, linen shirt. I got this in quite a large size, it's oversized as it is, but I wanted just like a really big oversized linen shirt. I think there's so many things you can do with this. It's like a stony beige colour, so super neutral, super available to go with everything. Um, and I've just got the sleeves rolled up, but they are quite long and oversized again, like a boyfriend sort of fit, which I really, really like. Um, so I just kind of have this loose with a pair of black trousers on now. You could like tuck it in a little bit, have one up, one down. <laughs> Tucking in a linen shirt in a bit of a messy way makes it a kind of more casual type look. I'm not really a fan of the one in one out, but on some people it looks amazing. I think you could also like pull this up and tie it at the waist so it was a bit more of a like cinched in sort of look. Um, and it always looks like a little bit 90s, a bit 80s if you do that, but I just really like it like this. I feel like this is the sort of outfit that looks terrible on camera and really doesn't translate well. But just having quite loose baggy shapes like the shirt and then I've got these um, kind of loose black lightweight trousers which are from Topshop. This is the kind of thing that I'm wearing a lot at the moment and uh, really enjoying just like a lot of breathable <laughs> easy materials. I do also have, I forgot to show you, this hat. This is my first foray into trying bucket hats. I'm not sure, if I'm honest, I'm really not sure. It is a gorgeous hat. I think it's a bit tall for my head. If I pull it all the way down, you can't really see me. Which, you know, could be a, could be a tactic in itself. Maybe that one will just be for sunbathing in the garden and things like that, but um, it is a very nice hat. If you suit a bucket hat, I'm sure that one will look wonderful on you. And then the other stories bits that I got to pick out. Um, this linen blazer, a really staple thing that you cannot go wrong with in your wardrobe. Um, now or any time of the year, honestly, is a linen blazer. I'm quite infatuated with blazers in general, but I think it is so summery and there are a million different things you can do with this. Um, I've just got this on with like a little racer vest, which is a very similar colour actually. They're both like an off-white cream. I think they look really nice together. Um, and then the trousers that I was wearing because I didn't to change them. Um, but linen oversized blazers, you could throw this on top of any summer dress um, and it's just perfect. It just seems to work like the juxtaposition of something quite tailored and structured and then just a nice floaty little dress. Any jeans and a nice top outfit, <laughs> linen blazers, amazing with. Um, there's just nothing really that they don't work with and they really like add something extra to your outfit too. So this one I got, I think I got this in my size, so it already comes oversized. I maybe even would have gone a size up just to make it really big on the shoulders, which is a look that I like a lot. Um, but yes, I just think this feels great. It's perfect quality. Little tortoiseshell buttons, which we love, of course. And I really like the details on it. I do find all the stories make a really, really good blazer. They know what they're doing. So <laughs> that is that. And then this little top too, which I think is gonna be great. I really need to find the perfect bra to wear underneath a racer vest because you know you can see the straps if it's a proper bra and then this one is maybe like a little bit too unstructured it's just like a cozy around the house bra but yeah that is um what i picked up from another stories i really like this outfit actually <laughs> this is a this is a bit of me i've 
actually managed to sneak away and get myself into the garden. I have to say the sun has gone in now, which is disappointing, but it is so hot. I opened the back door and there was just this wave of heat that hit me. So, I mean, it's not even like the hottest part of the day anymore. It's coming towards the evening. So maybe being outside today wasn't such a good plan and uh, it's a good job I avoided it because I am terrible at being warm. I'm not a summer baby at all. Um, but yeah, I've managed to sneak away into this little corner which actually always reminds me that I need to paint that fence panel. This one and this one do not look the same. But yeah, I've brought a book out here. I thought I'd do some reading just in the, in the warm, which is nice. I've been reading a lot of, and quite a lot of heavy, important, informative books recently. So I thought I would give myself something different which uh, is going to be Where the Crawdads Sing. I've had this for a really long time and I've yet to dig into it. I think it's a good summer read as well, so I think it'll be perfect. Loud noises outside. It's not the most peaceful garden here. Um, but I thought this would be like a perfect summer read, perfect for the heat. Um, it's supposed to be amazing as well, which is the reason I bought it. So I'm going to get stuck into that, I think. And that uh, is a nice little Friday afternoon activity just to finish off the week. Um, and speaking of finishing off the week, let's finish off the vlog here. The first vlog is always the trickiest to get back into. I feel like this one's been a bit, um, not much has gone on really. But then again, not much is really going on in everyday life right now. So we'll see how they go. Um, but thank you for sticking with it if you are watching this far. Um, and thank you for watching it as well. So, uh, yeah, I think maybe I'll try next week to start from Monday and go all the way through. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I have anything to talk about. I hopefully see you guys next week. And that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.